Hello everyone, I am Kinsuk Parasar and I welcome you all on this Study IQ platform. So, we have been discussing the chapters of Science and Technology book and in the last session, we have discussed about one very important aspect of it, that is about algal bloom. Now, today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic. You might have heard about insectivirus plants or carnivorous plants. So, this is one important topic of your Science and Technology section. And today we are going to see some of those insectivorous or carnivorous plants which are very much uh, around us and plus they like we are going to see what role they can play what why they are important to us is there any role that they are playing so let us try to understand what are these carnivorous plants so far we have discussed the five chapters we are discussing the sixth one and so we are going to discuss in this chapter about the insectivorous plants I am Kinsuk Parasar and you can follow me here on the telegram at this. You can ask your doubts, you can ask your queries in this group. Okay. Now, see, if we talk about insectivorous, we are going to see that what exactly are, are these insectivorous plants? What is their special characteristics? Okay. And why do they eat the insects? Like if they are insectivorous, so what is the reason behind it? Why they have become insectivorous? It's not that they are like uh, it's not that uh, they don't have the green leaves okay they still have the green leaves they have the chlorophyll but why they have become the insectivorous plants why they are depending upon the insect okay now we are also going to see a very important aspect that i was talking about we are going to see if there is a, any such medicinal value of these insectivorous plants for us for the humans okay so let us see this okay basically Insectivorous plants, which are also known as carnivorous plants, they are a group of plants which has developed a unique adaptation. They have developed a unique adaptation. Okay. And what is their adaptation? They can capture and digest insects and other small organisms as a source of their nutrient. Okay. So they are plants, but now they have got a special or unique adaptation and that adaptation is helping them to catch these insects or small organisms in order to meet their nutritional requirement okay they need some additional nutrients so for that reason they are having this adaptation now why they are why they need this because the soil where they are growing the area where they are developing the area where they are growing that area is having a poor soil content the nutrient in the soil is low the nutrient in the soil is poor and thus for meeting their nutrient requirement they are depending on the insects they are dep depending on the other small insects or other small organisms for their food okay. so they have evolved like they you can see this is an adaptation in them that they are supplementing their nutritional needs by deriving nutrients from insects so it is not their only mode of nutrition it is a supplemental like we have a general pattern like suppose that you are eating a uh, general food but you are lacking some vitamins you are lacking some minerals so we take capsules we take some additional supplements so that is what they are also taking they are taking some additional supplements like here you can see we have a very beautiful image of venus flytrap and pitcher plant okay you can say you can see they have also their leaves even their leaf has become modified that is one thing but then they are having the green leaves it means they are containing some amount of chlorophyll okay but to supplement their nutritional requirement they are depending upon the insect okay now see what they do they are basically like how their working mechanism is how they like uh, digest the insects basically they secrete certain enzymes what are those enzymes proteases and phosphatases okay they are secreting two enzymes which can break down the captured insects and release the essential nutrients including nitrogen nitrogen and phosphorus okay soil is poor in these nutrients so they have captured insects and they have they release generally two enzymes such as proteases and phosphatases and using that they break down the insects and gain their nutrients from there so that is why they have become carnivorous okay now where they are found in which location in which habitat they are found it is seen that 
नॉर्मली दे आर फाउंड अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड एंड दे कैन बी फाउंड इन बॉक्स पम्प मार्सेज वेटलैंड एरिया इन दीज प्लेसेज ऑल्सो दे कैन बी फाउंड एट द सेम टाइम दे कैन ऑल्सो बी फाउंड इन सैंडी और रॉकी इन्वायरमेंट द एरियाज वेयर देर इज न्यूट्रिएंट पुअर सॉइल इन दोज एरियाज दीज कार्निवोरस प्लांट्स कैन एग्जिस्ट नाउ वॉट आर द एग्जाम्पल्स हेयर वी हैव एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ पिचर प्लांट्स वी हैव एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वेनस फ्लाई ट्रैप सनड्यूज ब्लैडर बॉट्स तो दे आर द डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द कार्निवोरस ऑर्गेनिजम्स और द इंसेक्टिवोरस ऑर्गेनिजम्स विच वी आर हैविंग अराउंड एस ओके नाउ देर इज अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ओके दे आर लाइक दे आर हैविंग नॉर्मल रूट्स एंड दे आर ऑल्सो हैविंग फोटोसिंथेटिक लीव्स ओके वाई वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन बिकॉज दे आर इन हैबिटिंग इन पुअर इन्वायरमेंट सो दे कैन परफॉर्म दिस बट due to the lack of nitrogen and phosphorus they are doing this trapping of the insects so that is one thing which you have to keep in your mind clear that insectivorous plant doesn't mean they have like a, uh, they just depend on the insects for their food no they are photosynthetic plants they derive their nutrients from the soil but then the soil is poor in nutrients the soil is not having nitrogen it is not having phosphorus they need these nutrients and for thus getting this nutrient they have got a unique adaptation you know adaptations are very much common like if we talk about adaptation you can talk about the camels the camels have long legs they have also hump on their back where they are storing the food the water if we talk about the desert plants also you can see the cactus it has got thorns instead of leaves if we talk about mangrove vegetation they have got the new metaphors the roots which are coming out of the soil so different plants are having different adaptations and in a similar way this these insectivorous plants basically they are also having a special adaptation since photosynthesis or the normal process is not able to meet their nutritional requirement hence they are depending upon the insects in order to get the supply of nitrogen and phosphorus and for that they are using certain enzymes now keep these enzymes in mind or keep this process in in uh, mind and you will get to know how they are beneficial for humans okay we have just seen they have the ability to break down the insects so now there are certain chemicals which are responsible for it these chemicals may have other applications all as well these chemicals may have other uses as well okay so let us see how these how they can be helpful first of all digestive health okay some of them like we have example of sun dew they have been used to support digestion they are helping in digestion in even human beings okay now it is believed that they are having digestive enhancing properties and they have been used as herbal remedies so if people are having some digestive disorders if they are having some digestive problems in that case the sun dew these plants they have been used as herbal medicines or herbal remedies for curing the digestive disorders okay if people are having stomach ulcers gastritis indigestion in these problems the sun dew plants are being used because they have they help in they help in a bit they help to create a better digestive system okay so that is one example then we have also utricularia now this utricularia is used for treating the wounds if people have got some wound wounds then in treating that even in treating the cuff and the urinary disease they are also being used okay so we have got utricularia which is being used for treating cuffs wounds or urinary diseases okay now we have also got medicinal tea which is being brewed from the leaves of utricularia okay so this is again one such organism this is one such plant insectivorous plant which is helping the human being okay then we have also got a very important thing anti cancer potential if you remember in the previous sessions we have discussed about two life threatening disease cancer and aids if you have not watched that video 
just go by the playlist you will find the video over there and there you will find that how cancer is caused and what are the different treatment methods for cancer so now see if we talk about this uh, there is this plant okay sundews and pitcher plants okay the sundews which we have seen and here we have the pitcher plants okay so these sundews and the pitcher plants they have cytotoxic effect on cancer cells okay so they have this potential to even damage or you can say that destroy the cancer cells in the body okay now studies have been going on and people have been trying to get the potential of these plants in order to gain the anti cancer properties okay so insectivorous plants they are re releasing various such enzymes they have various such uh, chemicals inside them which can be used for even treating the cancer like disease like we have examples of pitcher plant as well as that of sundews okay now there is also antioxidant activity basically we have insectivorous plants like uh, again we have insectivorous plants like that of pitcher plants and others which can be used as a antioxidant okay they can be used as a antioxidant like we have uh, flavonoids and others okay so they can be used as antioxidants in humans so inflammation and all other problems they can be reduced with the help of these insectivorous plants at the same time they have also antimicrobial antifungal property basically the insectivorous plants which they are there they are producing a second a variety of secondary metabolites okay means they are uh, you can say that they are producing a number of secondary metabolites which has antimicrobial and antifungal properties okay like we have again the example of pitcher plants sundews and they have inhibitory effect against bacteria and fungi now we have already seen that in the beginning that they are releasing various enzymes they are having different chemicals they are producing various metabolites which can be used for curtailing or containing the bacteria insects fungi etc okay. so that is the various properties of insectivorous plants they can be useful for human beings also they can also be useful for the agriculture sector as well now you know that the chemicals which are present there these plants they can be used over the various types of insects the fungi or the bacteria so they can be used for agricultural field as well okay now a lot of research is going on this field and they are one of the very important parts or component of our biodiversity so that is our insectivorous plants thank you for watching this video do share it with your friends and in the next session we are going to see some other important topics and interesting topics thank you very much